Oh, that's embarrassing. I thought that was gonna be a lot bigger. I'm thinking of starting my intro like that because I think it's just a lot better than like the typical- Hey guys, it's Jake Creative here and today we're gonna be doing a drawing video. <laughs> So overdone, man. Anyways, we're in Photoshop, as you can see. A while back, I started a drawing of this beautiful Sparrow Boy, Zephyr, my Sonic OC. And I figured I would do a video of me trying to finish this drawing up tonight. I've never really done any videos showing like my drawing process whenever I do like digital drawings. Obviously you guys have seen me do a couple traditional art pieces, but I've never really tried uh, showing you any of my digital stuff. So we're gonna try it out. I also apologize if the camera quality isn't the best right now. I have a nice camera, like a nice DSLR camera that I used with my traditional art videos, but um, I couldn't, I didn't really have a whole lot of space to put it. Like this is like a really crowded setup right now. I don't know, maybe someday I'll have more space for it, but uh, right now this is what you get. As my girlfriend would say, that's what you get and you don't get upset. So right now I'm just kind of working on the, well, not kind of, I am, working on the outline right now. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of undoing <laughs> until I get it right. A lot of times if I'm doing like a long line like that, I'll kind of swoop all the way back through and then kind of connect them over here. And then I'll erase like the excess lines and then I'll go back and fill that in. I've really missed this. I've missed drawing my, uh, my OCs. It's been a while. I usually enjoy drawing them a lot. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you guys probably like all the uh, OC skits that I use with like all the popular TikTok sounds. Those usually end up being pretty popular. I've had a lot of fun doing those kinds of videos because I think you kind of get a better sense of like what my OC's personalities are when I do those kinds of videos. Like in the past, Zephyr has kind of just been like this kind of goofy, lovable kid. And then Orko's usually like the hard ass of the group. And then Rev is kind of like the, the voice of reason, the smart one. It's just kind of like a unique outlet built around like the lore and the personalities of all these characters. One goal that I kind of have that I don't really have any plans of right now is I do want to eventually make like a, a lore story sort of series, whether it be animation or in like the comic style like I've been doing, just centered around my OCs. I think that would be a fun project to take on in the future. It's definitely gonna be a very time consuming one. I don't know if I'm ever gonna have the time to do it. Something that would be cool to do in the future. All right, I am just now realizing that this stroke is like way bigger than what I had originally done in the past. Is this even the same brush that I use? Or did I use a different brush? I don't even remember. I think it was this one. Well, <laughs> definitely not that thick. Dummy thick. Okay, yeah, I think it was this one. Yep, it was definitely this one. Dude, drawing extreme gear was like so hard. I remember getting this extreme gear to look right took forever when I started this drawing. It's definitely a challenge, but I think I'm starting to get a better hang of it. Last year, I remember I did the 31 days of Sonic challenge and for the first time I tried drawing a car because <laughs> the, the prompt was drift. And I remember that I wanted to do like a Team Sonic Racing drawing, but I have like zero experience when it comes to drawing cars or anything of that nature. And somehow I managed to pull it off and I don't really know how. Sometimes I'll like do a sketch and then I'll end up leaving lines that I actually don't even need anymore. <coughs> oh, there's the burp I was trying to get out in the beginning. It's always annoying trying to draw circles because you want your circles to be like just so perfect. All right, that part looks good. And the perk of using Photoshop is I can do this. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. I'm sure you can do this in other drawing tools too, but I just think that's a cool little thing that I can do. Just makes the process so much faster. Oh, I gotta go back and erase a lot of these. Just right through it. Thank you to whoever introduced me to that song. I really appreciate it. I remember I reshared my uh, Jet guitar picture that I had made like a couple years ago. I asked the question on Twitter, what song do you think he's playing? Someone responded with Ungravitify from Sonic Riders and I was like, damn, this is actually a pretty cool song. I gotta add this to my playlist. This shit fire. <laughs> Kind of guess. Whoever introduced, whoever that was, shout out to you. Just right through gravity. Do, 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 do. All right. 
right, this is looking pretty good so far. By the way, this was the uh, pose that I went off. I just found this random stock photo of some dude snowboarding, and I thought it was a really cool pose. I thought it would look really cool. Let's erase some of the extra lines. Oh, the Mountain Dew is not sitting well right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have some more anyways though, because I'm an adult, I can do what I want. I'm so glad Mountain Dew brought Pitch Black back. I remember I used to drink that religiously when I was like 16. Probably shouldn't be doing that too much now that my uh, metabolism has slowed down a lot, but um, we're gonna do it anyways, because again, I'm an adult, I can do what I want. Okay, so, oh, I forgot the fingers on the gloves, the fingertips on the gloves. Can't forget that, I should play play Sonic Rider sometime. You guys think I should do gameplay videos? I've never really tried doing gameplay videos before, but I think it would be really fun. I have an emulator that I could probably run it on. No, I was gonna do goggles. What the heck? Why did I hide them? I could have sworn I remember giving Zephyr goggles in this picture. I think I'm gonna put the goggles on a separate outline layer. Like, I don't I don't want there to be too much overlap because I'm gonna get confused as to like what I should be erasing afterwards. So just having it on a separate layer really helps out. Struggling right now to draw this circle. <sighs> Excuse me. I used, I always try to just try and do like one fluid line when I'm drawing lines. Doing like these little small, smaller. Oh, oh my gosh. Doing these smaller strokes helps out a lot more sometimes. Problem is, is that you end up getting these thicker lines that you're not trying to get. But I guess you can just go back and erase them after, so it's really not that big of a deal. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm still on the first side of the goggles, man. What the heck? Just ride through gravity. I apologize if I keep singing that too much. It is a very catchy song. It doesn't help especially that I'm working on a rider's drawing right now, because that's just going to make me want to sing it even more. I want to try and learn that on guitar, actually. You guys know I also play guitar, aside from doing this art stuff, and I feel like that would be a fun song to learn. It sounds like a fun song to play, too. I really I really love the riff in that song. Like, that intro with, like, the... Awesome. Looking good. Looking good, Zeph. Zephyr. Zippy. Young Lightning. I got a lot of nicknames for you, buddy. I'm getting my layers confused again. Yeah, I think I should just hide the outline layer completely. If I turn off the whole sketch, what does it look like? Turn that off. Let's merge these two outline layers together. I wonder if I can put that song in the background of this video. I don't think I'll get a copyright claim, but I'm kind of worried that I'm going to. Actually, once this video goes out, I will have re-uploaded a TikTok to YouTube and I actually do have that song playing in the background. I don't think I got a strike. I don't know if it's because I didn't play it for long enough or if the song in general just won't give a copyright strike, but I don't know if I want to chance it. Not that I'm even getting monetized anyways right now. I'm not big enough of a channel to do that, but still I want to be in good standing. Good practices for when monetization does happen. That's the goal, that's the goal, to get 1,000 subs and however many watch hours it is that you need in order to be monetized. I think now we can finally start coloring. Um, oh, I had this um, reference page from a IDW issue for the Extreme Gear. <laughs> Seeing this um, panel with Jet being like, senile old fool. I don't know how many of you guys watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if that's like a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh or not, but um, What's his face? Kaiba. When he's trying to get, I think it was the blue eyes white dragon. He was trying to get it from Yugi's grandpa. And then he was like, fine, senile old fool. I've heard enough of your nonsense, senile old fool. I don't know if that was what they were referencing, but I thought if it was, that was kind of cool. All right, we're going to make a base color layer. And then we're just going to take the paint bucket tool. And then we're just going to, oh, no, oh, we're going to select the inverse of that first. And then we're just gonna do that. I think we'll just do it all in one layer. I, I don't think I need to separate the colors into different layers. I think with this strategy, it'll be fine. No, that's not really his, it's not his true beak color. It's just the beak color for this reference here, I think. Cause I don't think his beak is usually that orange. This is usually what I end up using. I just use this one. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Oh, I know what I need to do. <laughs> I forgot I had like a whole, layer right here. This is what I need to do. There we go. We can sample colors from this Zephyr image right here. This is going to be a better one. This is his true beak color right here. Not this gross 
honey mustard looking color. I don't even know why I made it like that. I think it was to match the rider style better. Oh, there's another little spot that missed too. And another little spot. And another little spot. What's up with that? All right, we're gonna do the teal of his hoodie and then the neon green for the gloves and fingertips. So make sure that every little bit is covered, at least every little bit that we can get to. I know we're gonna miss some spots like this and this. Pull that in, pull that in, pull that in. And that. Oh, I forgot about his shoes. Those are important. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just deleted the whole thing. All right, so yeah, his rider's gear. If you notice, his rider's shoes and gloves are different from his regular shoes and gloves. Honestly, making my uh, OC's rider outfits were really fun. Um, I did one for Orko and one for Zephyr. I'm gonna have to do one for Rev at some point. I think that would be really cool. I remember I asked the question, if y'all could give me uh, a team name for all three of my OC's, what would you call it? Someone said Team Neon because of their colors. I thought, well, I think Zephyr is really the only one that has like a neon-ish color palette. Orko is a very vibrant purple, I will say, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a neon. And then Rev is very much an olive green color. I don't know if I would say that they're like a team neon kind of team, but it was a good suggestion nonetheless. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 Too much gray, way too much gray. I don't even think I want to use this brush either. I want, I want this brush right here. This is, this is the brush that I want. This is the brush that I was outlining with earlier and then I was like, wait, this isn't, this doesn't look like the brush I was using earlier. What's, what's up with that? I think I'm actually gonna use this um, ugly mustard yellow color that I said was like really bad earlier, but I think it'd be fitting for these little like turbo jet thinking of boppers down here. No, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, but that is not what I wanted to have happen. I'm gonna save it in case Photoshop decides to uh, crash on me. And then I'm gonna do a separate layer for the goggle colors. The goggles are gonna be green and I'm gonna put a blending mode on it so that it's not just like, you know, this huge splash of green that you see. And definitely not any of these. <laughs> I think in, I'm thinking some in this like top little section right here. Linear, actually linear burn and multiply look exactly the same. I'll just go linear burn. My go-to um, shading color is usually kind of like a darkish uh, purple. When I do my shading, I'll use a dark purple it's usually like this and then if i go over to my blending modes like i did with the goggles and then set it to like hard light i think is the one i usually use and then lower the opacity to like 50 and then yeah, as you can see you kind of get like this nice purple shading color or my go that's usually like my go-to shading preset i guess you would call it my go-to shading settings i just didn't really know how to say it i want to kind of have like some sort of like dramatic looking shading pretty much half of him is shaded and half of him is not um I think that will look the coolest. That might change as I continue to color it in and I might decide on something different. But right now, this is what I'm going to go with. Oh, I didn't even realize I still had a little bit on the goggles. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm such a weirdo. I'm such a weirdo, guys. If there's one thing you should know about me, I'm such a fucking weirdo. And I swear sometimes. So if you're bothered by that, I. I don't know what to tell you. It's gonna be censored anyways, so. Oh my goodness, I forgot to color in his tongue. I swear to God, it's always the tongue that goes unnoticed whenever I'm coloring in something. It's always the tongue that never gets colored in, and then it's always the tail feathers or tails that I never remember to draw. Like, I remember I was working on a commission that I had to draw tails in, and then I almost completely forgot to draw his tails. And I was like, how did I forget to draw his namesake, what he's literally named after? I, it's just like the little thing, not even little things, just like things just go like unnoticed sometimes and like I don't know how. I tell you what though, you gotta pay attention to that stuff though, because if you're working on a commission and you forget that stuff. So far, everyone that has gotten a commission from me or who have commissioned me to do art have been nothing but fantastic, awesome, super nice. They always have great things to say about my work and if you've gotten a commission from me, shout out to you. Really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me. I think this whole 
leg might get shaded. I don't know if that would kind of make sense from a lighting perspective. Then again, I haven't really been paying attention to like any kind of light source, <laughs> to be completely honest, but um, I guess I wanted to make at least a little bit of sense where I'm shading stuff in. I don't know. I'm debating whether I just kind of want to leave this, like maybe just do like a little bit of shading or if I just kind of want to just do the whole thing. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Honestly, that might be the way to go, to be completely honest. And maybe even just add like a little bit on this leg. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. I like how I'm just naturally inclined to like color inside of the lines. Like I'm trying not to get any into the shoe, even though I've clearly already shaded this part. So it wouldn't even matter. My mind is just so like inclined to coloring in the lines. I don't know if that's for like everyone. I feel like that's like a innately like human characteristic. Like we just naturally want to color inside the lines. I think what I want to do also is I kind of want to add like some flames later on, kind of like in the back like this, in this reference page. <laughs> Every time I see this panel of Jet, I keep thinking of like what it would sound like in like Jason Griffith's Jet voice. Senile old fool. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I think it would be cool to have like this kind of flame effect in the background. I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. Uh, maybe once I'm done with like all the shading and highlights, but um, I think that would be good. I just realized I never gave like a color for these little circle things in the middle. Oh, maybe I will just leave it that color then because these are pink just like in waves, so maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> Senile old fool. I don't know why that line is so funny. I think it's just the Yu-Gi-Oh. I keep thinking of like the Yu-Gi-Oh clip and just associating it with Jet is just funny to me for some reason. Now we'll add some highlights. Maybe we'll make the highlights kind of yellow-ish. Maybe kind of, maybe kind of like this, like the. Oh my god, what was I trying to say there? <laughs> like a halfway between the goggle color and the green color and the yellow color. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> that actually looks like it could be pretty cool. Yes, this is a good color. Oh, whoa, that eraser is really big. I just farted. <laughs> oh, that's a rank one. Be lucky you guys can't smell this one. I'm gonna make a separate layer for the goggle highlights. Oh, color dodge actually looks really cool. Turn the goggle opacity down a little bit. Maybe like 85? Cause I don't think I want it like purely green. Yeah, so now, now we're gonna try and do the, uh, like the flame thing. I, old fool. I don't care if it's getting annoying. I think it's funny. That's all that matters. All right. So I moved this up here more so that I could get like a clearer view as I'm drawing it. Like a wavy line kind of shooting out. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm trying. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so th this part kind of got a little messed up over here, I'm not gonna lie. So we need to fix this a little bit. All right, I went back over it again. I think this looks a little bit better. Let's add a gradient in the background. I'm thinking something kind of like that goes from like that color to maybe, I'm thinking those might be good. I think it kind of meshes with the uh, the shading a little bit. Yeah, they're actually, yeah, so it needs to kind of like go this way. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And then maybe we'll just add a couple lines to show some, uh, some movement. So one thing I usually like to do is I like to go back over the outline sometimes, not all the time. But sometimes just to like go back and give it like a little splash of color. I think it's it's like a little it's a subtle difference, but I think it really helps out a lot in giving this like another level of depth to it. And then I think one thing I wanna kind of experiment with. So I kind I merged everything into one layer, and then I'm just gonna hide this just so I can show you guys what's about to happen. I want to do kind of like this, um, I was thinking maybe like some kind of shadow effect would be cool. It might work, it might not work, but it might be worth a shot anyways, you know? I mean, it kind of looks cool. Um, maybe if I change like the blending mode a little bit. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Just like a little thing to play around with, I guess. Alright, I don't know if, okay, maybe these were a bad idea. Um, <laughs> I thought they looked cool in the moment, but 
I think I was wrong. Eh, I think that pink's a little too vibrant. I think I want something kind of like this in here. Yeah, all right. I think this looks a lot better. Er, no, oh, I don't know. Do I want that or do I want like a... No, you know what I want? I want like kind of like that greenish kind of color. Yeah, something more like this, I think. Oh yeah, yep. This is it right here. This is it. This is it. And then maybe just because I want to see what it would look like. I want to add gradient on here. And then we're going to change the blend mode. This, oh, ooh, that overlay actually kind of looks pretty cool. Ooh, I think this is going to be it. Yep, perfect. All right, let's hide all these extra layers. Wow. That is actually looking pretty cool. I think I can rock with this. I think this is going to be like the uh, the final version <laughs> that everyone's going to see. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching me color that in. I really liked how this turned out. I think I'm going to do more of these videos where like I'm showing kind of like what I'm working on. So you guys can see kind of like my process of like how I outline and color and just make my drawings in general. Be on the lookout for more of those in the future. And um, yeah, that's it. See ya.